Hello everyone and welcome to Total War Through the Ages. Today we're going to be defending Nar Narbo Martius, I, I believe, is what we're going to be defending. But yes, we're going to get... Uh, it's actually, I believe, already under siege. Yes, it is under siege or it's about to be under siege, I don't recall. But without further ado, I do want to kind of show off. So right there at the beginning of the video, you probably heard the aww sound. And that was because we failed our mission from the Senate to get out of Germania's territory, which it really sucks that we failed that. I didn't. I was hoping that we would not be in there and get caught doing that. But unfortunately, we did. So we're going to have to withdraw our army. Um... And, and like I said, I, I didn't want to mess, like, my goal was never not to mess with the Germania, but I thought I could move my army past their settlement, which I ended up not being able to, so we'll have to just, we're just going to have to bring our army back down. I also have that small army there, and uh, I I don't believe this, I believe this happened just this turn at the beginning, you know, this happened on the AI move, but yeah, the Britons have, have marched an army on down, and it's right there, and it's kind of, it's not, it's not like, too large but it, it but it is a little bit scary because i don't have much in the way of forces in actually in the actual region of northern italy because my big army i had that's close by there uh, is the one that's currently a bit farther to the north near germania uh, i don't actually recall why i moved my diplomat there that was kind of a waste of time because i already knew that that was taken by the britons i think i might have just forgotten at the time that i had already checked it i don't know yeah, but it is kind of weird anyway so over here we're, we're starting to continue to or we are continuing to com uh, compile an army there to send and capture that carthaginian settlement there and we are i do promise that it won't be this episode because this episode we're going to have to deal with the britons but we are plan we are going to be taking that city right there that city we are taking we're going to be taking it in i don't i'm not going to promise it's going to be the next episode because i don't remember I don't remember, but it will be in the next couple episodes. It, it, it is going to happen. We are going to we are going to finally, 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 actually, you know, make progress against the Carthaginians in this campaign. It, it, it's it's due time that we do. Uh, also, I, I did have a quick question. If any, everyone would post in the comments, I would like some feedback. First off, do you guys like the uh, more kind of like around ten minute videos, or would you be or would you be okay with me extending that to? Uh, closer to like 20 minutes I'm kind of curious to know so just to let me know in the comments below what you, what you guys think now addition now it, now for the time being I will say it's we're gonna continue our, at, to try and keep it within around 10 to 15 minutes is gonna be my set time still for a while even after I get comments you know it will like I said it, it's gonna take a while for me to start transitioning over but here we are, we're in the siege. I kind of was talking over that part, but yeah. So we're getting attacked. Now this is, now this, the walls have not been repaired here, as you can very plainly see. And so that is going to be a bit of a problem. But it actually kind of works out to our advantage because I can pretty much know for sure where the AI is, where the AI is going to be attacking from because they will pretty much go for the pre-existing breaches in the walls. So this allows me to really know ahead of time where I can do. And it also has the added benefit of over there, as you saw me set up uh, just a moment ago, uh, on the far right, I actually I can actually rush my units out of the breaches if I so choose, which I am going to choose to do so on the far right. I'll be going over that in just a moment. But yeah, and then they do have some new rams coming in over here on the far left, so that is going to be a little more problematic. And we do have... They still, I still got to cover a lot of the front part, front section of the wall as well. So I am spread a little bit thin, but I'm still fairly confident going into this because this is one of the sieges where I'm actually going to be able to take the fight to the enemy, and I will show you just exactly how I'm going to do that right here. So we have our uh, two early legionaries, or actually those might be just two legionaries. Anyway, it's our two legionaries and our two auxilia and our general and then the uh, skirmisher cavalry. We are going to be taking, as you will see right here, we're going to be sallying out through the bre this breach in the wall and actually attacking these guys just on our terms. And this will allow me to kind of move, well, the idea was that I'd be able to use my cavalry a little bit more. Um, as you see, that doesn't kind of, that kind of doesn't work out. I do get to use them a decent amount, but it, the initial fight kind of, I kind of don't, um, I'm not too happy with it because they actually rushed the breach pretty early on and my legionaries took a while to start marching. Um, so yeah, but here we go. And these, those are in fact early legionaries, it looks like. I think those are. I'm trying to read that. Again, like I've mentioned before, when I'm watching it, it's very tiny compared to when you guys are watching it. 
uh, or at least when I'm watching it while I'm recording this. <laughs> anyway, so here they are actually starting to charge us, so we're gonna try and, I, I try and rush to get the legionaries into position. And then we have the auxilia coming over here. And I just, my goal is just to get out of it because I kind of want to fan out so I have moon, more room to maneuver. But they kind of catch me before I'm really able to do that. So I end up just telling my skirmisher cavalry, I think they're cavalry auxilia is what they're called, but my auxiliary cavalry, that's what it is. I order them just to not try and come out right now and I'm going to back have my general come out and then I'll move the other unit of cavalry out uh, once I have some more room. But uh, our one unit of auxilia kind of gets caught out there so I went ahead and just have them in full, full on engage. Uh, I'm going to have the auxil auxiliary cavalry go in and kind of harass those units that are coming in from the side. My general kind of, that was kind of a pointless charge for my general there and then but the one unit of auxiliary spearmen we got to actually successfully make a way now my folk I focused too much in on there and I kind of forgot to focus on the rest of the stuff so I actually ha didn't have a lot of my guys set to fire at will so that kind of was a big mistake on my part I kind of was it a big mistake no yeah it was a big mistake on my part but here we go now our skirmish my my auxiliary cavalry I forgot to take them off skirmish mode so they're, that's why they're freaking out running back in and out um, but yeah, so I charged my general in there. That was kind of a pointless charge because I basically had to charge through my own guy, the back of my own unit. So I, so I'm trying to pull him out here. And again, I, so I actually brought those slingers right away. And then we're going to be able to start getting some flank charges on here. Actually, I, uh, I'm trying to, yeah, there we go. There's the flank charge. I didn't remember if I had them run down because I was my goal. I also am trying to make sure that the their the enemy units do not rally back. So I want to keep them routing by. The cavalry of that. Now I do check out here because I did know uh, at a deployment that they have a unit with a ram far down there. So I'm going to send the auxiliary spearmen to go deal with them. And meanwhile, the two legionaries, once they mop up the the rest of those units there, which they just flat caused the last one to wrap, I'm going to have the legionaries be brought in back to the city to assist over this way because I was not confident in my Hastati to. I, I believe that's, yeah, Hastati, two Hastati and a one Princip unit. I wasn't really confident in them handling that, so I wanted to bring the Legionaries back in because the Legionaries are a lot better. Just to, just to ensure we, we, we win. And so, yeah, so here we have, yeah, so the Spearmen are moving over this way. Now, I had them stop because I wanted to get them set up a bit more because their unit is, again, they're walking towards us. So I'll just let them tire themselves out running towards us, and we'll just sit and rest for a minute. And then I'm going to have my cal my general come over that way to a sit to basically get a flank charge off once the enemy units engage. And here we have their chariots are uh, br are brought in, and I'm like, all right, screw it, time to get the legionaries in there faster. Uh, the their main force that the fa the force that attacked the mo the kind of more center front section of the wall uh, got beaten back, and so I'm bringing the rest of those guys in now to assist with dealing with the chariots. But the chariots get destroyed, like entirely decimated uh, it, very quickly like they like the unit of the chariots went from being more or less at full strength to losing like half their guys in like a matter of span of like five seconds now again this was also me not paying attention and we're well, not so much paying attention but again I, as i addressed in a previous video why i do, i avoid pausing um I, even though i pause a decent amount here but again as a general rule i try not to pause too much because it's good practice for multiplayer that's the summation of what i yeah, it probably took me like five minutes to say in a previous video. But anyway, um, so here we, our legionaries basically just destroy those enemy units right there and mop up. So now they do have some units coming in there, and I'm about to switch over to the left side because I haven't positioned my units properly over there. Well, I set them up there, but I hadn't actually positioned them because I wasn't 100% sure where the rams are going. And we just have Hastati over here, by the way. Uh, now, I did send the, I did only do Hastati here because I did, to the best of my knowledge, from when I was deploying, the enemy units were more kind of light units. So here, how we set up, as you can see, we have the unit to the left there, the unit in the corner, and then one unit here. And that way, it kind of gives us the unit in the corner can uh, kind of attack the sides or flank of either breach uh, uh, on the corner so either on e on either to the left or the right of them on either on different sides of the wall because it's right at the corner um but th i end up moving those guys later because uh, well they have a third ram there and the third ram kind of ruined my plan um, but here we have now these units here i believe the the this section that our legionaries are running towards i believe these are where the enemy's chosen swordsmen were um and here we go ram first ram has breached over on the left side so we're gonna head on over there momentarily second ram breaches and yeah third one's about to breach as well and actually quite a few of my units got beaten up here kind of on this left uh center area right here or i guess it would be my true center rather 
So yeah, those guys kind of get beaten up pretty bad because again, I'm pretty sure that was a unit or two of Chosen Swordsman. I think it was one unit of Chosen Swordsman and a unit of just Normal Swordsman. So that unit decides to, yeah, we're not going through our own breach. We're going to go into the breach our friends made. So I'm like, uh, okay. So I, I don't know why they did that. It was really weird. So I'm going to rush those guys over there as quickly as possible. And I'm going to reposition these guys to cover uh, their flank. Um, and actually, I barely get this third unit in position yet yeah, right there they're like rushing into position as the breach is made uh, so we have these guys are getting engaged here and I'm gonna be trying to get my general over here fairly quickly uh, of course the idea was that the legionaries would go over there to help but the legionaries are getting tied up here trying to finish off this chosen swordsman unit so they kind of it's kind of like one of those things that's like ah eh, the fight will probably be over like I'll probably lose that fight over on the far left um, before the time by the time my um, by the legionnaires get there so i'm gonna send my general over instead and there is actually another unit that somehow i don't know where that unit came from but there's a a, a britain unit that somehow snuck into our city it snuck in through some breach in the wall so at this point i have a few units in my town center it was a unit of triari that was really weak and this unit of equitas that were also really weak so i'm thinking all right here's the deal uh my general is pretty tired uh, he's gonna have to probably get tied up on that one unit that kind of snuck into the city My legionaries are tied are currently engaged. So they're gonna get tied up and I need to get reinforcements over there quickly. So I'm like, okay So even though this unit of Equitas only has like 13 guys in it, I think um, Some there somewhere about I'm gonna pull them from the center and kind of get them to go around and assist over there And the the chariots by the way the I never I didn't actually notice this in the battle But I kind of figured out what happened afterwards so that you you know chariots uh, rallied because this is a different unit Oh no Oh, actually, this is a, this is a different unit, I think. Yeah, so they actually had a second unit of chariots, I guess. I don't recall that, or maybe or maybe they rallied. I'm not sure what happened there. Like I said, at the time of the battle, I also didn't know what was going on. But here we have these Equitas are coming around this way as well. And there's not a whole lot I can do at this point because I mean I have a lot of infantry. Like I'm not going to lose this battle, but it's just the general thing of I have all my infantry focused on killing that chariot unit, and then my general, I well, and these legionaries, I pull over. I don't know why I, why I did that. Oh, right. I'm going to have them try and get them over to reinforce, I think. But here we're going to have our general rush over to try and help. Because again, I wasn't sure that I was going to win this. But then finally my two Hastati win. Because again, I'm pretty sure it was only a, a couple... I think all these guys were just war bands, um, which are not the best. Or, or At the very least, they didn't have any chosen swordsmen. So my Hastati actually were able to hold their own just fine. But that cavalry charge right there makes that last unit route. And the chariots are about to route out, uh, I believe. And there we go, the end of the battle. Now, I actually continued this battle on. I'm going to be skipping that uh, for this. But I ran down a lot of their guys. Anyway, that's the end of this video. This intro's, got, I mean, outro. Got to do the outro quickly. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check back for more Total War Through the Ages. It is on every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So be sure to check back for more in the future.